I don't know what to tell you. Educator feigns ignorance when cops ask if she's been stalking ex-boyfriend despite showing up at his work 33 times in 19 days. Hannah Freeman. Hannah Freeman, are you supposed to be up here? Mm -hmm. You are? Mm -hmm. Were you in his vehicle earlier? Mm -hmm. Well, we got a complaint from him that you were in his vehicle tonight and you're harassing him and stalking him. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, did you take some items from him last night? See, ladies, this is how you get your man. This is a master class. How else are you going to know if you're not welcome if you don't show up? Let the law draw the line. But at the end of the day, don't leave any room for you to be able to say that you didn't follow your heart. And when you're being checked into that mental health facility while he's locking all his doors and windows, he's going to say to himself, damn, mom was right. But he'll be thinking of you, though. And that's a win. Cops in Ohio arrested a woman. Really? They didn't try to sell her any drugs first, who was allegedly stalking her ex-boyfriend and stole his wallet to make over $1,000 in Amazon charges on his credit card. Damn, Hannah Freeman, a 27-year-old educator at North Ridgeville City Schools near Cleveland, is facing charges of menacing by stalking and aggravated theft court records show. Body camera and surveillance footage capture Freeman showing up to the school where he worked on November 7th and sitting in her car in the parking lot. Oh, that's so sweet. Because I did Tater back April in April we probably ended it. Um, um, she she kind of knew passwords to like my accounts and stuff. Where did uh, she's been where, messing with my accounts? Where did she rack up the charges at? That was all from Amazon. See, ladies, all it takes is a little bit of stealing and stalking to get the relationship jump started, just to nudge it in the right direction. You make out a few gifts to yourself in his name, of course. You tell all your friends how he showers you in affection and how you don't need the call to show up at his job because you're telepathically linked together. You are life mates. Westlake police officers responded to the victim's school while she claimed their ex-boyfriend had invited her to the school. He said otherwise. No. I didn't. She probably would say that, the victim told cops in a body camera video, which is redacted to conceal his identity. She actually yesterday followed me to my apartment. It's a love story, kids. She actually stole stuff from my car, medications, which I need, my car keys, which I actually was able to get back from her, a laptop, my wallet, and she just ran up a bunch of charges on one of my credit cards. She's like a real girlfriend. Officers went to her car and questioned whether she was supposed to be there they know she isn't they're just trying to see what she's going to say and not for nothing the way these teachers are behaving nowadays she could have been waiting for a student in the parking lot no lie she said she had been invited while denying she had broken into his car or was stalking him stalking is such a messy messy term let's just say she was visiting unannounced very often your phone in the car? I am. I'm putting it down. I'm putting it down. Step over. Putting it down. You're going to turn around, put your hands behind your back. You don't got anything on you that's going to stick to me or anything like that? No. Put your hands together like your brain. <laughs> Where are your keys for the car? Stealing the medication amongst all things, that's kind of wow. That's something that people do when they know for sure that it's over and they're desperate and they're just looking for any way to get that person to contact them just one more time, even if it's out of anger. I don't know what to tell you, she said. Basically, she told the cops to buzz off. Cops then took her into custody. Yeah, that'll do it. She is now free on bond. Is she going to end up in this man's bed naked under the covers one night when he gets up to go take a leak? According to an she doesn't seem like a restraining order type of girl. According to an affidavit obtained by Cleveland NBC affiliate WKYC, cameras showed Freeman arriving at the victim's place of work 33 times in 19 days. You should strive to have that type of consistency in a relationship. She also allegedly made more than $1,000 worth of charges to his credit card on Amazon. North Ridgeville School said in a statement that the district placed Freeman on administrative leave and is cooperating with the investigation. There you have it, kids. Hannah Freeman, be sure to check for her under your beds tonight. Tell me what you think.